Today I checked out a subreddit called The Unexpected, and I thought I'd share it with you. Here's the video. We had like 200 people say, <laughs> ask him about his real voice. I'm like, what does that mean? Is that an inside joke? Real voice? Yeah, it's real. What, they think your voice isn't real? What? I, am, I, I really talk. What the f What? <laughs> That's not how you really talk. That is my real voice. I just talk like this when I'm trying to like make music and make content. But I really talk like this in real life. <laughs> Wait, which is the real voice? I really talk. What? A joke? Nah, it's real. What they think of what? Nah, it's real. Just how sad when I let I call my music, you know? What they all about it? Is it real? What? <sighs> I have. I, I really talk. What the? <laughs> That's not how you really talk. That is my real voice. I just talk like this when I'm trying to like make music and make content. Yeah. But I really talk like this in real. And I need to change my voice to get more views. This is ridiculous. What could you buy with your body count? A McChicken because it's one dollar. That's all I can get with it. <laughs> one. What happened to your voice? What? Two McChickens. Uh. Maybe three. Okay, you keep going up. I have the coronavirus. That's why I don't have a voice. <laughs> and she's just like stood in front of someone. <laughs> okay. Go cops, go fast. Go round him. Is that why you do this? And he goes off the track. <laughs> Italian so extra. Uh, big massive toilet rolls being loaded in for giants so they can wipe their donkeys. Uh, and goes that one recorded in 1982 on a potato. Um, and I'm leaving now. Thanks, uh, thanks for helping. I'm also leaving now. And now that man's dead. Uh, what the frog did I just watch? Is this the American version of Antiques Roadshow? Does America have Antiques? In a movie called Winning, wasn't this particular model? It did not have the screw down buttons. The one that Paul Newman wore, currently at auction, uh. those watches are going for approximately one hundred and fifty to two hundred thousand dollars. Oof. Two hundred grand for a watch. Special. It says it says <laughs> Oyster on it. Yes. Moister. They did that for an extremely short period of time. We refer to that as a Mark II dial. And this particular model, being marked Oyster, is extremely, extremely rare. Two million dollars. Like this at auction is worth about four hundred thousand dollars. Oof. <laughs> Oof. You okay? Oof. That's a house. <laughs> Don't a paid that. house. I'm not done yet. I said a watch like yours because of the condition of it. Basically, but yours is worth ten dollars. No wear on it. The original foil sticker on the back of it, and the fact that we. Oh, it's going to be more documentation here. Also, maybe one of the very few in the whole world that still was never worn. And Your I'm going to rob you. At auction today, five hundred to seven hundred thousand dollars. Nice. You're good. No, I'm very serious. Damn. Oh, it's an absolute fabulous Oh, he's a veteran model. as well. It's one of the rarest Paul Newman models. And in this condition, I don't think there's a better one in the world. Can't thank you enough for bringing me one of the greatest watches to ever see on Antiques Road. Imagine if he's wrong and he goes to the auction thank and just sells for like $100. Yeah, okay, I wouldn't happen, but... Unbelievable. Damn. Can't wear it, though. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of money. Oh. oh, oh, that's gross. Screw me in the anus, this hurts. <laughs> Why is he? There's no way he's stopping him. There's no way. What? 
gives me power wash vibes. One of the greatest games ever made. Is that an animal? Is... Oh, a no, phone? It's wet. It's, wet. it's wet. That's the biggest problem. How about the fact that it's been in shit for the last five hours? <laughs> oh. Uh. <laughs> Why? Why? Ah. Uh. I'm passing words made it to Alliance Command. Something big's headed up. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> God, I hope so. <laughs> Mass Effect. People say I am the best boss. They go, God, we've never worked in a place like this before. You're hilarious. And you get the best out of us. Um. I think that pretty much sums it up. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the Everybody stay calm. Damn, this is really well done. <laughs> yes, I was the first one out, and yes, I've heard women and children first, but we do not employ children. We are not a sweatshop, thankfully. And uh, women are equal in the workplace by law. Just hit me. You'll see. Okay, local. All right, come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> That's so well done. No office romances. No way. Very messy, inappropriate. No. Having a lot of sexual escapades, as I let you know, like having a little adventures with some freaky Chicago girls, and I've come to the realization of- A Chicago about, girl's freaky? I don't think pegging is necessarily that gay. <laughs> Wait, there's- there's no way he's that oh, much of a comedy that genius that that was- you know, like having a little adventures. That was intentional. Freaky Chicago girls, and I've come to the realization, I've been talking to one, that I don't think pegging is necessarily that gay. Oh. There's no audience there, so no one's... My guy thought about helping him, and then he was like, no, I probably should help him. Oh, I hope nobody was there. That's a scorpion. Yeah? That's a tailless whip scorpion. That there is a whip tail scorpion. This right here is- No, why did he do this? this weird shit? No! Yeah. He's dropping that. He's- Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, what? <laughs> he just- that's, That is the picture of a small child just admitting defeat. It's gonna happen anyway. So I'm just gonna pour it out and save the glass from smashing. I don't understand. It's going. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Oh, oh, I messed up. I messed up. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, mommy. I dropped it all. I dropped. <laughs> oh, I hated those Valkyries. What? It killed itself. What the?